Ooh yeah, it's a beautiful day for some barbecue here in Southwest Florida. I'm Matthew and welcome to another episode of Barlow Barbecue. Thanks so much for stopping by. As you can see, I've got my Weber kettle fired up. That's coming up the temp. And what I'm gonna do for you today is check it out. I've got this really nice rack of beef back ribs, all right? These look really, really nice. And so that's what we're gonna do today on the Weber kettle. Now, before I get started, I gotta hit these with some rub. And lately I've been messing around with keeping it real, real simple. I'm just using a blend of black pepper and kosher salt, all right? A quarter cup of each one, to be exact, if you're curious, all right? So I'm just gonna hit this with some black pepper and some kosher salt and then it's gonna be ready to go on the grill. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get these rubbed up and then I will see you back here when the grill is up to temp and these are ready to go on. Thanks a lot for coming by and stick around. It's gonna be a good one. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, I think we're ready to start barbecuing. Check it out, come on in here. We've got the grill temp going at 246, which is just fine. I'm going for a temp of around 250 for today's cook. Now right down here, underneath the grill grate, I've got some tin foil, and that's just gonna help us catch some dripping so it's easy cleanup later. And back here, I've got my charcoal set up in the slow and sear, all right? I'll have a link to it right down below in the description box. Lit charcoal right here, unlit charcoal right here, and that's just gonna burn slowly over the course of the cook. Got a big fat chunk of applewood here and I've got some water in the reservoir for the slow and sear, and that's just gonna help keep our temps under control. Let me grab this rack of beef back ribs right here, and we're just gonna lay them, boom, right here. And we'll get our uh, thermometer back in, just like that. I think that looks good. All right, we'll get the lid back on. And it's gonna be a real easy cook, y'all. We're just gonna let this smoke until th those ribs are probe tender, okay? So for right now, let's just let them rip for about an hour, maybe an hour or two, and we'll come check them out and see how they're doing. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Well, it's been two and a half hours. These ribs have been smoking on the Weber kettle. Let's check them out. Ooh, take a look at that. These are looking beautiful. Got a couple hours of smoke going, nice dark developing. I've got a handy dandy thermometer with me. Let's take temp. And let's also see how they feel. All right, we, we've got the probe on. So I'm gonna try to hit between the bones here. It's feeling real soft going in. Now see, this is saying 201. Check over here. That's 194, 195. I'm gonna check towards the back as well. So back here we've got 189, so it's a little lower towards the back. But this, I'm feeling really, really good about this. But I wanna give it just a little bit more time. I don't wanna dry these out. I don't wanna wrap them either, so I would prefer not to wrap them. So let's go ahead and cover these up. Let's give it another 30 minutes and that should bring that back end up a little bit closer to uh, around 200 degrees. It's right where we want to be. All right, so we'll see you real soon. All right, y'all, it's been 30 minutes. Total cooking time up to this point has been three hours. Let's check out those back ribs and see how they're doing. Ooh, would you look at that? Dang, those are looking real, real good. Let's check tenderness and temp, but I think these are gonna be done. Here's my handy dandy thermometer. Let's see how these feel. We're gonna start with the back because that's what we were waiting on. Oh yeah, these are feeling real good and we got temperatures above 200. Feels real nice. Double check on the middle here. Oh yeah, 203. I mean, the tenderness is on point here. It goes in with no resistance, comes out just as easily. These are done. It is finally time. These back ribs have been resting for 30 minutes. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is slice into them, see how they look, and then we're gonna try them out.
Well, it's so nice of you to join us today. Wouldn't have missed it for anything. The whole neighborhood smells like beef bacon. All right. Well, we're going to make some friends. We got some beef here. All right. So look this at these. Check big. these guys out. All right. Holy Toledo. Yeah. Yep. Now that's a rib, y'all. I'm just going to take a bite and uh, here we go. Mmm. 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 Ooh, that's delicious. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, tenderness. Oh, yeah. We hit the tenderness level. That's perfect Amazing. right there. Yeah. Amazing. Comes clean up. Mm. There's a lot of meat on these. Way to go, Publix. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, this mm -hmm. is my kind of barbecue. Just some rub and smoke. That's all you need. You Delicious. Know, not covered in sauce or whatever. You really get to taste the flavor of the beef that really comes through with this. It is delicious, mm -hmm. but I do like it saucy. Well, you know, nothing wrong with a little bit of barbecue sauce. Don't get me wrong, all right? But this is real good here. One more bite and we'll wrap it up. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Good times. Good times indeed. <laughs> we really appreciate you hanging out with us today. We love you guys. And until next time, smoke them if you got them. That's All right. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. -bye. Bye.